after Dan's comment about um, reproducing that um, slimy effect on the side of that um, um, rolling stock, I thought, well, why not? I actually produced something like that the other day in a building. I thought I'd show you how to use the Vallejo products that I mentioned in uh, my comments. So the products I'm using are the Vallejo uh, Faded Olive Green. And it is uh, a pigment from Vallejo, Earth and Oxide series. Now, you only need a small amount of that. Depending on how much you're going to mix up. But that's probably heaps for the job that I'm going to show now. So basically, you put that in to your thing. Now, I'll put a couple of extra bits in here because I want to show you a few other things. So we'll go three times. Now that, the amount that I put in there is actually way too much for probably what you want to do. <clears throat> so you can use it quite sparingly. The second product that I'm going to use, I'm going to use all three actually, is the pigment binder by Vallejo again under the AV brand. Now this binds the, the, um, the pigment together <clears throat> and makes it a paste. So just grab a brush, just a small brush, and drop it in. Now, depending on how thick you want your paste, you could use an eyedropper or whatever, but I tend to find that you put a little bit small amounts at first and mix it up. And of course, the less pigment you put in, the thicker it's going to be. Now that's the consistency of probably a very thin plaster. <clears throat> and basically what I have here is a piece of laser board, <clears throat> which is already brown, which sort of simulates rust a little bit. And if you basically just put it on, you can put it on quite thick. Now I reckon I've mixed this up a little bit too thin. I'd make it so that it's actually not running. And when that dries, it'll be a crusty lump of green, more so than just a green stain. Now, clean my brush. The next one I'll show you is basically, we'll put the binder away so I don't spill it, which is gonna be typical of me, is using their airbrush thinner. Exactly the same process. A couple of drops. I mean, this is up to you to how thick you make it. And again, it turns it into a liquid or a paste. And again, a similar similar effect except not as chunky because I haven't mixed it that thick so that's the that's their thinner using the thinner as the bait the the, the way to reduce the their thing. the third and last one is of course it's just plain old water <coughs> and I mean if I just put a tiny little bit of water in there you can see it's actually quite chunky <coughs> and you could make that as thick as you wanted it or you could go the other way and I'll just grab a bit of timber and really water it down and take a bit out of here and put into here and you can use it as a wash and that's even way too strong as a wash now again when using timber you always got to be careful you're not going to warp the timber there we are there look at that so you could do a light staining of green now the third and final product <coughs> that I really do like from Vallejo is their green wash 
Now again, you can dilute this again, but I find if you, it's quite dark in its original pigment form and getting another piece of timber Clean my brush out. This is actually quite fantastic as far as the bottom of a post or the bottom of a window sill, especially on timber. And it is a stain. You can see how heavy it's stained there, and I've lightened it up going around the corner there. So if you combine the two, say we'll bring that heavy one in. When all that dries, you'll find that that's quite chunky. And I'll show you later on in another video, maybe, how the overall effect is. Now, the one thing you have to remember with Vallejo is that they have a fantastic range of products in their wash area. Their, their rusts, their greys. They also have some fantastic um, pigment colours that are fantastic as well. These are, this is Desert Dust. And these are available from any really good hobby supplier and reasonably priced. <coughs> they also have a great product called Rust Texture, which I use a lot. And you can use that directly straight out of the can, out of the, out of the thing, give it a good shake. So I hope that's been of help. Um, I'm no expert, but... You'll see that as this dries, and I might post, well, we might post a picture of that later on, dry, uh, you'll see the effect. And you can do that with all their pigments.